from Ai Chong Chin. This is my new friend James, James mm, from yeah, England. James from England. Right? Okay. So today we come like we come here to like for the the show, a show of the making, the birth of the hot pot, right? Yes. So are you ex expected? Yes, I'm very impressed. Um, you know, I've, I've been to here many times, but I've never seen such a large scale event here before. And you know, almost all of the big uh, hop hop brands in Chongqing and Sichuan are all here. So they've all got their stands here, and then everyone's free to go and try them, try the hot pot, but also go and buy some of the uh, the spices and also the, the condiments for it as well. And uh, it was also a first time for me today to actually see the uh, the the, the way the uh, the hot pot broth is made from scratch, so starting with the first oils and then like cooking the uh, the chilies and then also adding the spices as well. Yeah. So this is something I'd never actually seen before because uh, my experiences have normally been limited to just uh, eating it directly in a restaurant or when you buy uh, it's already made in a supermarket. Yeah, and also you know the atmosphere is really great and there are so many people here, many uh, big players in the industry. So yeah, it's been a uh, big surprise and, uh, and I'm really impressed with the uh, with the events. Okay. So the show is beginning, so let's go inside to watch the show. Let's go. Let's go. There never used to be, at least you know, when I was very young growing up in England, I never I never knew Chongqing hot pots or Sichuan hot pots. But I think times have changed because you know um, in the last 10, 15 years there are many more you know, mainland you know, Chinese living in England, also a lot many more students. Uh, so I think that's also created a market for you know, people to move to England and open hot pot uh, restaurants. And actually even in my hometown in Leicester, yeah, there, there are now a few uh, hot pot restaurants you can go to. I think before the first one I ever heard of was uh, down in London, but uh, things have changed now. So even out in the smaller cities, like where I am from, you can find Chongqing Hot Pot now. But I think most of the clientele are Chinese students, but I think also the uh, local people, our local English people, also uh, gaining a taste for hot pot as well. There are many kinds of like hot pot in Chongqing. Sure. Not only hot pot, like fish pot, beef pot. Yeah, the duck. Yeah, although, yeah. although that's not spicy. Yeah, they <laughs> like a ton. Yeah. So, no, but I love all of them. And, uh, you know, of course, every hot pot restaurant, every brand has a slightly different flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, all of these ingredients, you kind of, kind of mix them, change the quantities, you can add, some, you know, add something else if they like. I've had hot pots at home, the homemade version, uh -huh. but uh, normally you just buy it pre-packaged, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of the ingredients yeah. is ready for you, so basically all you have to do is uh, cook it in the wok yourself with a bit of oil, you can add a little bit of something else if you like, and then you add the water and then you're ready, but I've yeah. never seen hot pot prepared uh, this way before, oh. yeah, you know, kind of right from the uh, beginning. So after this time, will you like try to cook the food by yourself at home? Um, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not that great to cook, <laughs> so I've got a feeling if I try myself, maybe um, I might ruin the ingredients oh, okay. or it might not taste very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I suppose if I have uh, somebody who uh, knows how to do it, so like our uh, chef just now, uh -huh. yeah, maybe if you have somebody to teach me, then I, I would uh, be very willing to give it a try. Yeah. The show is ending, and so how the feeling? Yeah, it feels great. I mean, uh, I watched the chef kind of make it from the very beginning, mm -hmm. and you know, then when I saw the uh, the chilies were in, you know, after, after I asked him a few questions, and uh, you know, we asked him if we could uh, take his place and um, stir the wok for him, and uh, he very kindly um, agreed. 
and uh, yeah, the feeling was great. Great. Yeah, and then um, after it was all finished, you know, um, there were still some chilies left on the side of the walk. And you know, I love spicy food, so you know, I couldn't, uh, no, I couldn't really uh, stop myself. I just uh, picked up one of the chilies and tried them, and uh, the taste of it was really good as well. Oh, so you lived in China for 16 years? Um, I came to Chongqing 16 years ago, and apart from four years I had in Korea, I've, uh, I've always been here in Chongqing, so about 12 years in total. So during the 16 years, I believe that you have, you had tried uh, lots, lots of help, right? Yes. So today you interviewed the the chairwoman of the association, the Half Association in Chongqing. So are you excited? <laughs> yes, I was very excited. Yeah, so I was very excited to meet her. I'd also, um, also had a photograph with the uh, with the boss of uh, Liu Yixiu, uh -huh. or Hot Pot as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is like an added surprise as well, because when I came here, um, I wasn't sure if I would have the opportunity to meet them. But you know, like um, people in Chongqing in general, they're, they're very uh, very open, very kind, very uh, warm-hearted. So um, I was very pleased that they were so happy to, uh, to uh, speak to me and uh, take some photographs together. Uh -huh.